This is a national for applications of maths. Video. This lesson we will cover how to change from 12 to 24 hour time and we will be successful if we can change 12 hour AM time to 24 hour notation by keeping the numbers the same and ensuring there are four digits. We will be able to change 12 hour PM time by adding on 12 to the hours. So first of all, it's important to remember that there are 24 hours in a day. So for example, if you think about Monday, it would change to Tuesday at midnight. And the clock would reset again. So let's think about Tuesday starting. So Monday midnight is 12 a.m. And at that point, the 24 hour notation would be four zeros. One hour passes and it's 1 a.m. in the morning. The 24 hour notation would be zero one zero zero. And we can carry on that pattern all the way until we get to 11 a.m., which would be 11.00. And then the next 12 hours, something slightly different happens. So at 12 p.m., so that's the middle of the day, so the time around about where you might have your lunch. So that stays as 12.00. At 1 p.m., changes to 13. Zero, zero. You're one hour on from 12, so it's 13. One hour on from 13 becomes 14 or 2 p.m. And so on. And you can fill in these gaps all the way up to 11 p.m., which is 23.00. Zero, zero. At 23.00, if we add on one more hour, we get back to the start. We get back to zero 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 zero. Okay, so changing from twelve to twenty-four hour notation. So first of all, we're going to look at AM time. So any time in the morning. It's important that we have four digits for any twenty-four hour time. And the next important thing is that the numbers stay the same apart from 12 a.m. We've seen on the previous slide, 12 a.m. and 24 hour notation is four zeros. So let's have a look at some examples. So these here are four times written in 12 hour notation. We know that it's 12 hour notation because they say a.m. So 24 hour notation does not include AM. So it says above here that we have to have four digits and the numbers stay the same. So we're going to keep the numbers as they are, 740, but we need to have four digits. So how are we going to get four digits? So we're going to have 740. To make four digits, we're going to put a zero in front of the seven. And we're going to separate the hours and the minutes with a colon which is two dots. And that is all we need to do for AM time into 24 hour clock location. Number two, this time we've already got four digits, 1035. We keep the numbers as the same because it is AM. We separate it with a colon. Okay, number three. So number three again only has three digits. So in this example, again, we have to add in a zero before the eight and separate the hours and the minutes with a colon. Okay, so number four was our special case. 12 a.m., so that's midnight, so half an hour past midnight. And you have to remember that midnight is given as zero, zero. 
couple of minutes. Oh, there we go. So remember, we need four digits. The numbers stay the same unless it's 12, and you don't need AM. Okay, let's have a little look at PM times. So again, we need to have four digits, but this time we have to add on 12 to the hours, again apart from 12 p.m. We've seen on the previous slide that 12 p.m. just stays as 12 zero zero. Okay, let's have a look at some examples. So 7.40 p.m. So we're going to add on 12 to the hours. So the hours are currently seven. If we add on 12 to seven, we get 19. 24 hour time for 7.40 p.m. is 19.40. The minutes don't change. And again, I'm using the colon to separate the hours and the minutes. Okay, on to number two. So because it's a p.m. time, we're going to add on 12 to the hours. And we end up with 22, 35. Minutes don't change. We're separating the hours and the minutes with the colon. Okay, number three, we've got 8.15 p.m. So because it's p.m., we're going to add on 12 to the hours. So there's eight hours past midday. So that becomes 20.15. The last one, 12.30 p.m. So this was a special case. Because it's 12, we don't need to add on anything. And that just stays as 12.30.